okay very good evening uh, one and all uh, students uh, long awaited uh, you know wait uh, is over for uh, nata 2022 very happy to announce that the nata 2022 brochures have been actually you know out and uh, uh, as expected we don't have uh, you know the drawing test and this is going to be the same pattern which was uh, followed last year also and uh, 2020 and 2021 they had the same format and this format is actually going to be there uh, in this year also we are actually having an information brochure with me and uh, this information brochure says the same thing and uh, an architect whoever actually wants to actually know uh, you know uh, uh, do architecture in uh, India has to write this uh, NATA examination except for the central government funded institutions uh, like IITs uh, NITs and SPAs but that is not mentioned in this brochure. NATA is actually uh, this time will be actually conducted thrice okay there is a small twist in this uh, the the best of the two scores if you are writing NATA 1 and NATA 2 uh, the best of two scores uh, out of the two uh, NATAs will be taken that means if you have scored 120 or 130 in your first and second NATA then 130 will be considered as the best score if you are attempting for the third nata uh, that means the third nata nata 3 then best of two scores will be averaged like for an example uh, if you have scored 110 in your first nata second nata you have scored 120 and third nata if you have scored 130 again then you will be averaged like 130 plus 130 divided by 2 that is 260 that is equal to 130 that means whatever the two best scores will be taken into consideration you can see that in the uh, chart which is uh, to be uh, to be placed in this video first nata will be conducted on june 12 uh, that is on the sunday uh, 2022 as expected uh, there will be 125 questions like uh, uh, the previous years and total marks will be 200 and you can actually reach to www.nata.in and you can actually see the uh, list of examination centers in that particular uh, thing then the second test will be actually conducted in july 3 2022 and the third test will be conducted in july 24 2022 so it will be between uh, 10 am to 1 30 pm that is 180 minutes three hours uh, if needed they will be actually conducting session 2 also in the afternoon it is between 2 30 to 5 30 pm okay regarding the outline of the aptitude test as i told you last time and uh, in my orientation program i will be actually explaining this about the complete question set one will be the mcq type multiple choice choice, uh, choice type in that four answers will be there you have to choose one of the answers normally it is done mcq type the second one will be multiple select type that means you have to select uh, multiple numbers of answers because the answers would be more than one so that will be multiple select type and third one will be preferential choice type that means the question might actually have three or four correct answers uh, the weightage will be given for different answers in a different manner i will explain that in the orientation program please keep watching or just give me a call for understanding this preferential choice type pcq that means you will be actually given uh, one or more uh, answers and uh, you have to actually choose one of the answers you will be given marks accordingly maybe four six or ten depending upon the uh, weightage of the question numerical answer type where there will be actually you no know, geometrical questions and there will be uh, some mathematical calculations also it is a very simple geometrical mathematical calculation will be given so that is numerical answer type you have to answer it in a number way so that is m f q uh, that is numerical sorry numerical answer type uh, the th third one is the match the following type that is m f q this is the new one which they have introduced uh, this m f q means actually you know you have to match like uh, as you have done in your uh, uh, 10th standard 8th standard you usually match with you know uh, Delhi uh, to Kutub Minar Agra to Taj Mahal uh, 
big temple to Tanjavur. So you match the things. So match the following type. It is like M F Q questions. The question uh, answers will be carrying one, two, or three marks. As I told you, sometimes in the preferential choice, choice you will be actually having three marks, two marks, one mark questions, and 125 questions will be there. Uh, in 180 minutes basically all these things will be asked in English language only the aptitude will actually have English language only so uh, so please prepare for that some questions may be in regional languages has been actually said I don't know how they are actually going to do that but some questions will be in regional language of your choice the aptitude of the candidate will be assessed as it was in 2020 and 2021 the diagrammatic reasoning, numerical reasoning, verbal reasoning, inductive reasoning, situational judgment, logical reasoning and abstract reasoning. Dear friends, each and everything holds a very great value in architecture. Architecture actually you know, thinks about logic in a very longer way. You learn from architects, I am sure you will be able to actually understand this very well. As uh, you know said in this uh, last page of the Nata uh, you know uh, brochure it is very clearly uh, mentioned that it is your innate feelings innate ideas innate ability which actually comes to the uh, very important uh, place in this nata examination so it will be actually asked from the basic concepts of mathematics physics and geometry language and interpretation elements and principles of design aesthetic sensitivity, color theory, lateral thinking and logical reasoning and as I have already been saying about visual perception and cognitive skills. So you will be tested with graphics and imagery and the building anatomy and architectural vocabulary and basic techniques of building construction and knowledge of material and about the general knowledge and the current affairs. Yes. This is all very very important as an architect because you must know about the industry, you must know about the general thing which is happening. We will actually conduct an orientation program soon to make you understand this particular thing. So you know very well know that it is the 10 plus 2 examination with the physics, chemistry and mathematics can actually take part in this NATA examination. They are eligible for this uh, NATA 2022. And 10 plus 3 in diploma in architect uh, diploma uh, in architecture or any form with the mathematics is can actually appear in NATA 2022 examination. So this is what they have actually said. This is uh, uh, the 10 plus 2 examination in which you have to score at least 50 percent of the marks. That is very very important for getting admission into architecture uh, colleges. The application can be actually filled online in www.nata.in. The procedure is already on uh, from 8th onwards. Uh, they have opened the application forms for the uh, filling up of the forms. So you can actually you know get in. You can actually you know upload the documentation and you can actually pay the, pay the fees in the particular thing. And you will be actually getting a confirmation page. So you can actually you know keep that for your records. The application form needs lots of understanding. You please go through the NATA information brochure. If you have any doubt, please call us. We will actually guide you in you know filling up the application form. The fees for the application is actually you know like uh, for the general category, it is for it is two thousand rupees for the first uh, test. And uh, for female, it is 1500 rupees. For SC, ST, and uh, you know, other people, it is uh, 1500 rupees. Outside India, if there is NRIs who are studying in Perspective Foundation, they will be charged 10,000 rupees for one examination. For you are actually applying for two examination for uh, you know, male candidates will be charged 4000 rupees. For female candidates, you will be charged 3000 rupees. And for others, also, it is 3000 rupees. Outside India, somebody is actually writing this examination they will be charged 20,000 rupees as a fee. If you are like going to write 1, 2 and 3 all 3 natas then you are actually be charged 5,400 rupees for female students it is 4,050 rupees and for others also it is 4,050 rupees for the candidates who are actually writing it in outside they will be charged 27,000 rupees 
which is excluding the GST. So you have to add the GST to submit the application form. So it's very important. You please take the confirmation page. It's very simple. You can actually go to nata.in and you can register yourself with your email ID. You will be getting actually a confirmation email in your account. So you can just go and log in and fill your application forms with your uh, particulars and the examination centers which are there actually there in the uh, list of appendix. Please go through the appendix and you will be able to actually know uh, you will be able to fill this uh, particulars very easily. So for the important dates uh, for NATA 2022, the availability of information in the public domain which is already there from 8th of April 2022, start of online form fill up will be actually starting from 8th of April 2022, end of registration will be 23rd May 2022. So make sure that you actually fill the first NATA examination uh, you know application form before 23rd. So you will be actually allowed to actually you know uh, upload fee payment and everything will be actually done till 23rd May 2022 only. The publication of the downloadable admit card will be available on the 7th of June 2022. So the date of the examination is 12th June 2022 and the publication of results will be available on 20th June 2022. For the second test uh, which is to be held on July 3rd and 2022 which is the availability of information in the public domain already is there on 8th April 2022 as explained from 8th April 2022 to 20th June 2022. So 20th June 2022 is the end of registration for the second test. So the publication of result will be done on 13th of July 2022. So the examination will be held on July 3rd 2022. The third test is scheduled for 24 July 2022. Uh, the end of registration for it will be 11th July 2022. Uh, so the publication of results will be there in the domain on 3rd August 2022. In the last page, um, the NATA is an aptitude test that assesses uh, candidates innate ability through a variety of testing formats and uh, cannot be taught, learnt or induced. That means actually no, you need to actually you know, be with architects and you should feel architecture then only you will be able to actually you know crack this NATA examination so please understand that the innate ability to be actually you know assessed only by the architect so very important information I have already given and regarding the examination I wish you all all the best it is very important dear friends because understanding this particular reasoning is very very difficult for others but architects can understand this very well. In Perspective Foundation, we are conducting with uh, utmost sincerity for the students to understand these particular factors. We are very happy to inform that we are charging very, very less for the rural and government school students. There is a separate batch for them. We want to actually make sure that they also get an opportunity to actually you know, write this examination in a proper way and uh, understanding each and everything is a very important understanding towards architecture learn this with architects we have 20 plus architects professors who are working tirelessly to make you understand at least this needs a one month practice so you please actually practice with uh, uh, an architect who you know nearby or you can actually contact Perspective Foundation. We will make sure that you actually pass in this examination. Last time we have a 99.5% result in this particular examination 2021. It was a very tough examination. There were many people who have been qualified in this NATA examination. Please don't take, if you are very much interested in architecture, please don't take this as a very light examination. It was a very tough examination. Last time only in the second NATA examination, only 50% people have qualified. So please remember that. And if you want to score very well in NATA, because the 50% marks will be taken for your admission into your college. So it's very important you score very well in the NATA examination. 
uh, I will guide you. I am architect G Raja. Uh, uh, completed my Bachelor of Architecture from NIT Bhopal and Masters from Periyar Manima University and pursuing PhD is a uh, is a person who actually founded the Perspective Foundation. I've been working tirelessly to understand the basic fundamentals of this particular nata. We architects here to create architects and we want to build a great architectural fraternity. Welcome all to the great architectural fraternity. Come, we will actually make you great architects. Thank you so much. God bless you.